I mean, I done been in that situation a lot of times. Um, it's not my first rodeo, but um, I know Coach Martelli always harping on me about, you know, getting extra free throws in because you never know when your time is going to come. And, uh, I mean, as a kid, 10 years old, uh, I'm at the free throw line imagining being in that moment. And today, I was able to um, come plus for my team. And Eli had that spurt where he got nine points for a little over a minute, and he really kept a continuity and a flow for you guys. Talk about what he was able to do for you guys tonight. I mean, we don't call him the professor for no reason. I mean, he do everything for the team. He defend the best players. Uh, he made good reads. You know, he scored the ball at a high level. So um, that's what we need from him. He's probably the best leader in the country. You know, as Coach Juan Howard would say, but um, we, we lean on him and uh, Hunt a lot. So that was big for us, for the team. Devontae, it's been a while since you guys were in a, in a tight game in the last few minutes. Uh, I guess, can you speak to kind of the vibe of the team uh, during that stretch? You no, know, I loved it because um, at the beginning of the season, we were like in those moments, you'll see like a lot of us, you know, down, you know, not really having the energy that we needed. But today, um, you know, Jace Howard did a good job telling everybody, you know, breathe. Um, we had, I think it was down like five minutes, down seven with five minutes left. And uh, Juwan Howard just told us to breathe, you know, um, a lot of energy, you know, going through a lot of emotions, but he told us to you know, be us. You know, we, we came out there and you know, got some stops and made some big threes and also made some free throws and it helped us win the game today. Devontae, was it difficult to find some kind of a rhythm in this game with all the fouls called on both sides? Uh, yeah, but I mean, that's part of the game. Um, can't really, we can't really blame the refs for no type of calls. You know, they got a job to do. We missed all, we missed uh, reads. They missed some calls, but I mean, um, shout out to all the refs. You know, that they, I feel like they did. You know what they, they had to do. Um, I feel like it was difficult. You know, we had Musa and Hunt file out, so we had to. You know, Jared did a great job coming in and filling that role. But um, when that when that when that stuff happened, it's the next man up. Monte, where are you with your three-point shot right now? Because your percentage is, is very high, and you, you still aren't taking a ton, though, but you hit a huge one tonight. Oh, I'm just uh, taking what the defense gives me. I know I'd be passing up on a lot of shots, but I feel like me, I'm trying to pass out my shots for an even better shot. So as a point guard, that's that's what I'm trying to do for this team. I know I've got a lot of great shooters around me. But um, whenever I, I got time to shoot a shot, I'm shooting with confidence, and that's what I've been doing recently. I guess what was it like playing those final few minutes without you know your leading scorer and rebounder and hunter? Um, it was fun. No, don't get me wrong though. We, just, we, we run out out there, but uh, it definitely was fun. You know, getting to go through some adversity to without you know our best player, see see where we at as a team, and um, I learned a lot from this team. You know, we're very hungry, very disciplined. We understand that it's always next man up, no matter who's out. So you know, I learned a lot from this team, and um, we got a big game coming up this weekend. There was a there was a big swing in the second half where you guys were up 11 and then down by six. So that was what a 17 point swing. What was Northwestern doing well during that stretch to kind of seize control there before you guys took it back at the end? Uh, I just felt like we, we wasn't making the shots that we were making in the first half, and I think uh, we missed a couple layups, a couple, couple um, shots went in and out. But we also we we were on a stretch where we uh, missed a lot of defensive um, assignments. So I know that's been our problem the whole season. You know, second half we always struggled a little bit, but. Um, like I said before, I just love how we you know, fought through the last five minutes to get the W. What do you think has changed about this team that allowed you to stay composed in those last five minutes where maybe earlier in the season you, you wouldn't have been able to do that? I feel like we're just more comfortable as a team. I feel like early, you know, we had so much high, high you know, expectations, but we wasn't really, you know, good at chemistry yet. But I feel like now we're finding, you know, we're going through Hunt. You know, Hunt going to find everybody. <coughs> Excuse me. Hunt probably the best, the best passing big in the country. So. Having a guy like that who draws so much attention, but able to make the pass out to open man, and we saw ourselves that if somebody open, but if somebody else like open, if somebody closes out to us, we're gonna make the extra pass. So I love this team, you know, very unselfish team. You seem to really love physical play. What's at the root of that? Where did you become a physical player? Uh, I mean, sometimes it's on accident when I'm always on the ground, but um, I know coach always telling me you know to be aggressive, um, always. Uh, Hit the bully. That's it. Hit the bully first because the bully don't like being hit. So that's just a mindset I always got in going to the game. Uh, there was a stretch in the second half, but um, what was the message you guys had back from that? Uh, like I said, uh, Coach Harrell told us just to breathe, you know, um, slow down. Uh, we had like a lot of high emotions, you no know, goal. That's the one. The game wasn't going our way for a minute, but um, I feel like really good, greatest team, you know, just keep my composure. You know, the crowd did a great job, you know, just being loud, getting us energy, and we didn't have none, so I didn't want to get a big shot of the crowd tonight. During this three-game win streak, how different is this team when, when you guys are hitting those open threes compared to where you guys had some struggles earlier in the season? I feel like you can see how dangerous it is when we are making shots. Um, I feel like once we hit shots, it just amp up our defense. 
Um, early in the season, we was missing shots and we wasn't playing defense because we didn't have nothing like to go off of. But um, once we hit shots like Caleb and Greg the last two games, you know, we, we feeding off him. You know, Eli, Hunt, everybody making shots. So like everybody making defense now. So that's that's a big thing for us. You had to add on that. You mentioned Caleb. I mean, I'm sure you see it every day in practice. But he went through his. You could say like the freshman ups and downs. Have you what? In your opinion, what made his like the the, the switch flip? I mean, he did, he been doing the same thing. Um, I told him um, when he was going through the slump, I said they're gonna they're gonna have some more stories about you know, your shooting slump. But I, I'm like, you're a basketball player, you're not your best shooter. You know, keep shooting your shot. And he he did a great job coming in, no practice, no before practice, getting up exercise. Like his routine haven't changed. Um, going through the slump or not, so he's he's been a, doing a great job being consistent. And I feel like um, he's hitting the stride right on time. How do you feel like you settled into your role of there? Are there any adjustments that you made as the season has gone on to your role this um, just being a leader, that's just the main thing for me. I feel like when it comes to scoring or defense, that's just, that just comes with basketball. I've been doing this for a while, so um, I feel like me fitting in ain't as hard as others, but um, I think the, big, the biggest role I'm, I'm putting on is, is being a leader, you know, just um, being vocal. I want everybody to hear, hear me and feel me on the court, so that's my main thing. And, and last question, I know you transferred in this year. The game got canceled earlier this year. How excited are you about playing Michigan State? What do you know about that game? And and what you know, do you have any done any back history? Your just your thoughts. Um, I know we was about to play them last time. Practice is crazy. Like coach came in off the juice. You know, everybody just amped up. Like it was no plan around. So um, I'm really excited. I really can't wait to go into that arena um, and see the crowd. You know, hear all the booze, all the love that it comes with. But I'm excited. I can't. I can't wait.